I was recently going through and I was looking at some old tweets that I tweeted, um, really just checking to make sure I didn't say anything super offensive or anything, which I didn't, by the way. But um, I went back and I looked at some old tweets and I saw some tweets from when I had first tripped. <laughs> so this is like like post post uh, first couple acid trips and maybe post mushroom trip. And that was like my awakening. And I tweeted about it. Uh, and you can see it in 2015. It's, it's, it's really cool. Um, because I was right on the nose on everything that I was saying, but I wasn't living it. So it was like, it was an awareness and a knowledge of like what that looked like. So I, I've talked about this before on the podcast, but it, you know, psychedelics give you that preview of the mountaintop, but it's still up to you to climb the mountain. You know, you're, you're, you're getting to fly to the peak and you see it, but then you got to fly back down by the end of the trip. And so now I'm realizing uh, how far I've been scaling this mountain and how much closer to the peak of this mountain is. And eventually I'm going to have to descend from this mountain and I'm going to have to climb a new larger mountain. Um, but at, at, at this moment in time, I feel like I'm really scaling it properly. I'm scaling it more safely. I'm doing it in a much more reasonable manner. Um, and I think that it's really exciting to see that growth within myself and to see how I've evolved despite knowing like I've known what I've been needing to do for a long time but it's it's just not an overnight process it takes years and it, it's literally been almost five years now since I first had that awakening and I think what people need to keep in mind when they're growing and they're learning from people or masters or you know I'm not a master fuck I'm a regular person but um, when you are learning from spiritual masters or you're learning from other people to realize that they've had their own journey to get there. And, you know, at some point they were probably where you are in the journey. And so just cause somebody's further along than you doesn't mean that you can't get there or that, uh, that they somehow are more special than you or something like that. It's like, no, we all can get there if we want to. And if we set the goal and the intention for ourselves and we all have, you know, our things that we're good at and our limitations, whatever. Um, but everybody can get to the same level of like self actualization, um, it just will manifest itself in different ways, depending on your personality, your epigenetics. Um, there's like a number of factors that can kind of change what that looks like, but it still can be the same achievable point, uh, in time. Sorry, I just needed a sip of water there. So for me, I'm seeing myself and growing and really evolving and maturing. And I'm, you know, I'm going to be 26 this year and, uh, I really feel like I've come a long way, a really long way. And I still have a long way to go, you know, but it's a never ending journey. That's the thing. And I, and because I'm now no longer results driven, it's not about that finished product anymore. It really is about the act of just fucking doing it. You know, I feel good when I do these. I do. It's, it's, it's like such a creative expression. I get to get some words out. You know, sometimes I just need to record it. Um, and this is going to sound funny, but like, I, there's a lot of things that I say where I'm like, damn, I wish I recorded that because I forget the shit. And it's not that I forget it because, uh, because I can't remember everything I say, you know, I mean, I don't think anybody can truly remember everything they say, but like, I remember the gist of things that I say, but sometimes I, I'll say some fucking wisdom that came outside of me. It didn't even feel like it was mine. It feels like I just fucking pulled it out of the universe. And then if I don't write it down or if I don't put it somewhere, then it's lost and I forget about it. I mean, even these podcasts, like, excuse me, when I, when I go back and I listen to them, uh, especially if I've listened to like a really old episode again, um, I remember recording them and I'll even kind of know where it's going as I'm listening to it. But sometimes I forget some of the shit I say in it where I'm like, damn, that was good. Like that was some, that was not me at that point. <laughs> you know, that was outside of myself. And I think, uh, I think it's really important to record these thoughts. And so, I'm not good at it. I wish I journaled more, but I do think the journaling is a useful thing. I think it's, it's useful because you write it down, you have a record and then you can go back and reflect on it. And so when this first, you know, the new year started, I have, I have a planner. And although this past year, I wasn't insanely great at keeping up with it all the time. I did have enough of a lot of the weeks of the year that I did write down what I did. And I did write down how I was feeling. Um, and it was really cool to watch the growth. Like I got to visibly see it reflecting upon the pages and seeing, you know, the different highs and the lows that I went through. 
um, and seeing the things that I did check off my list of things that needed to get done or things that were putting me toward closer towards the goal. And I think that that's a really powerful tool that maybe isn't good for everybody, but certainly is good for people who need that. And I, I'm one of those people. I need that. I need to be able to see that I'm making progress. I need to see that I'm working towards this goal that maybe is very hard to visualize. It's very hard to, to put into perspective the amount of steps involved in taking to get to where you want to go. And if you, if you knew the amount of steps that were involved in getting to where you wanted to go, you probably wouldn't start. And that's why you just have to start and just go and just take it one day at a time. Because you never have more than the 24 hours you have in the day. You never do. You're never going to be expected to do two days worth of work in one day in a literal sense, maybe in a metaphorical sense you got to. But, um, you know, you can only do what you can do with the time that you have. And understanding that as long as you spend that time the way that you need to, more or less, and you give yourself the allowance of understanding that you're not always going to spend it as perfectly as you'd like to, then you're going to be fine. And you're going to be very surprised at where you are a year from that point. And even a couple months from that point. 